Well, hello everyone and welcome back to uh, another uh, daily vlog. Um, it's Sunday at the Chateau, um, so there's not much happening here today, but what are Sundays for around here? Well, Sundays are for antique shopping. So Billy's gonna drive us to a couple of places that he knows uh, and we're gonna have a look for some nice things for the cottage or maybe the Chateau. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for, but I won't know until we get there. All right, let's be with the car. Let's get in, shall we? Got Andrew the cameraman. Yeah, well, I'm filming this bit, but uh, when we get there, you can film us. Right, Bill, you know where we're going? I do. Take us to the best antique shops you know. Let's reverse. Nothing but stormy weather in France. I don't know what happened to summer, but it's definitely somewhere else. Nice countryside though. Right, Billy, so what is the first stop on our little trip? Where we we going? are going to uh, a village called La Tau. La Tau. La Tau. So I don't know, I it's Have I been to this one before? I don't know. It's not great, but it's on the way. Okay, well, to another one. if it's on the way, we'll stop and have a look. Yeah. i tell you what I'm really looking for is oil lamps. Yeah, you'll find plenty of those. So I love the idea that uh, there could be a storm and we have a power cut in the chateau, but I'm in the cottage, the Argus running, I can make a cup of tea, I can cook, and I can light an oil lamp and sit and read a book. Yeah. So I'd like a collection of oil lamps, because I've got the two rolls of the wicks for them that I ordered from China, bizarrely enough, because they were really cheap. So I've got oil, I've got wicks, I just need vintage antique oil lamps. So you usually find quite a lot of those, don't you? Yeah, we'll look at that way. Yeah, it's definitely coming. So we're actually just pulling into a village called Saint Denis de Gatine, uh, and this is our closest chateau neighbour. Um, and uh, I'll tell you more about this chateau tomorrow because I'm actually going to visit it. Um, but our friends um, bought this chateau not long ago, but I actually viewed it about four years ago and it's absolutely amazing it's it's beautiful it's really small but like perfectly formed there it is right on the window so that was my dream chateau i wanted to buy it but um somebody beat me to it um but we're going to be viewing it tomorrow in the vlog so um that's something to look forward to Borders not far from where we are, although we're not in Normandy, we're very close to it. We're north of Mayen, and literally you can drive 20 minutes and you're in Normandy. Oh, that's which cool. Which is where Gwendolyn is from. Yep. Mosh. So we have arrived. That is really busy actually. It's really, really busy. And that's a good sign because it means uh, they must have good stuff in here, or it's a bad sign because it means all the good stuff's been bought. So. Yeah. Right, let's go and have a look for some antiques. And apparently, there's an interesting story about this store and uh, some things that are for sale in here, some, specifically some paintings and who they, who they were painted by. So we'll tell you about that when we get in. Put my mask on. It's a bit windy. So we're in the antique shop and I just want to tell you about these paintings really quickly. These paintings behind me, were painted by the son of Osama bin Laden. Interestingly enough, he lives locally. So, um, although I don't think he had much to do with his father, so. But there you go. You can come here and buy, buy some of his paintings. But anyway, I digress. Let's have a look around for some antiques. I was actually looking for oil lamps, but this, has, this is nice, but it's been converted into a real lamp, so it doesn't work as an oil lamp anymore, so that's no good. I'm looking for real ones, but maybe this one works as an oil lamp. Let's have a look. Does it still work? How does it work? I've got a feeling this one runs on gas, so I'm not sure if it's any good. I can't see somewhere where you put a wick. That's not what we're looking for. We'll put that one back. Now this, this is really nice. If you look at this, 
It's a beautiful old oil lamp. And you see you've got the wick that goes in there. And you've got your reservoir that goes in there. So you pour the paraffin in there. Um, I'm not sure if it had a glass thing on the top. I think it basically worked like a candle. I'm going to take that because that basically works like a candle, but it doesn't run out. Look at that, Billy. Do you like it? It doesn't have a glass thing. It's just basically like a candle. That's amazing. But you put the oil inside. Wow, that's exactly what you were looking for. So I'm going to take that. You see that's... this big one? This is like a hob. Is it? Yeah. Is it for oil or gas? It's oil, isn't it? How does it's it work? Wick, yeah. Up and down. And then you fill it here. I'm not sure about that. That might be dangerous. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't know how to use it, but, <laughs> but I'm definitely going to take that. But I wonder if there's any more. What's that for? That's quite nice. That might not go with it. That looks like it's like thing altogether. But that's obviously to stop it. So heating something up. It's like a camp stove, and you could put a kettle on that and keep it warm. But that's not really what I'm looking for. This looks quite nice. It's just like a little brass, brass tin but I absolutely love that. Eight euros, I'm gonna take that. Don't know why I just like this, I just like it. It looks pretty with that. It's all turned. It just needs sanding down and um, painting. It's a proper storm lantern. It's a proper storm lantern, isn't it? Jeremy, it's a bit rusty though. Yeah, it's only surface rust. It's still got some flex of paint on it. Yeah, but yeah. you under that with a pair of pliers, yeah. I think we can find a better condition one than that. <laughs> Do you think? Yeah, I think we can, oh, yeah. I'll put it back then. I think we can find a better one than that. Billy, can you have a look at that? Is that silver or is it plated? Bit of old tut. Yeah, that's what I thought. We'll leave that here then. <laughs> so that's quite a nice oil lamp, but the, the handle is broken. And also the glass uh, that goes on the top, you see that is completely cracked. So unfortunately it looks nice, but it's not usable and I want stuff that I can use, so. Right, well, I've had a really good look round. I can't really find anything else. There's nothing else that really jumps out at me. So we're gonna take that because that's just very cute. I don't know what it's for. Maybe it's a tea caddy or something. Uh, and that little oil lamp. Although the handle is missing, I think it looks pretty just as it is and it works. So we're gonna take those two and then we're gonna go to the next antique shop. So I'm gonna go and pay and then, yeah, see you in the car. I got me two lamps, but Billy has found this. It's 20, it was 20 euros. He's took a bet on it uh, because it's not clear whether it's gold or not, but it does seem to have a hallmark and it's got a bit of weight to it for such a small chain. So he's gonna get home and he's gonna test it. Uh, and um, he's got a loop. So you're gonna look at the hallmarks under the magnifier and see if it's real or I'm not. Usually right. But Billy's usually right when it comes to gold, so he may have just bought a gold chain. Could possibly be 18 carat for 20, 18 for 20 carat. euros. Yeah. And then there's me looking for silly oil lamps, so. <laughs> Who's the smart one? Yes. <laughs> You're the smart one, Billy. That's why you own a chateau and I uh, own an oil lamp. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just arrived at the next antique shop. What is this place called, Billy? This antique shop is called Rue d'Antiquaire. Yeah. And basically it's set up like it's meant to be like a little street full of little bricons and antique shops. Yeah. Yep. And then there's also another bit next door. Yeah, there's that? like a, it's called Le Bon Coin. It means a good deal next to it. And it's, it's a depot vent, which oh, so means- A depot vent is basically more just like a warehouse. It's all just chucked in there. You have to rummage. A depot vent is where people bring stuff to sell. Yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then they take a percentage for selling it. Yeah. Uh, the, this one is more like little antique shops in a in a in a, in a pretend street. In a pretend street. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. Oh, hello. Hi, Dad, you all right? Hi. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Oh, let's have a little look round then. Oh, look, it's another one here. It's basically what I just bought in the other antique shop, but this one isn't broken. <laughs> we'll take that one as well. <laughs> I just bought exactly the same one yeah. for eight euros and it had the handle snapped off, but I liked it. But this one, I th oh, this one might be also, does it work? You can make one out of two. Oh, I can make, yeah. I can yeah, make two, yeah. one out of two. Yeah, two. Yeah. I can take the good bit that fits on the top from this one and let see if it works. Unscrew it. I'm going to get the other one and have a look and see. See if it works. 
Is the car open, Billy? It's the same one, look. But that one doesn't turn, doesn't lift up when you turn it. It's got the same name on it though, look. So I could buy that one and put that on that one. Oh yeah, you could do. There. Does it fit? Yeah, it, it fits. So I've got, I've got one that I can work that's on. One for that's spare your one. Parts. One for spare parts and one that works. So that's our one. <laughs> and that's, that's, yeah, we'll buy that one. <laughs> and that one's good because it's got like a little, you can, you can put it on, yeah, but you can also put it on the wall. It's like an oil lamp, so you, you hang it on the wall. That one is also another one. All right, we'll take that one as well then. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know if it was for the Olympics or it was just like the idea of the Olympic torch, but. The Olympic torch, yeah. But well, that one's got that that goes on. Yeah, they often get broken, so that, yeah. that would be fine. Right, I'll, uh, I well, suddenly I... want to look out and what is usually are those top bits. Yeah. When you go to P20, it's all looking boxes on the floor. Oh, yeah. Because often they get broken or they get separated. Yeah, and they're all it's hard to find, so if you find them, find them separate, but... Oh, that's nice. Pestle and mortar, what are you into brass, are you? No, not necessarily, but... It's nice and heavy, actually. Yeah, I'm more into the... Um, the oil lamps. Oh, the oil lamps. Yeah. Oh, well, there's a couple over here. Let's have a look. Big ones. Oh, that's a nice one. Try not to drop it or break it. Oh, yeah. That's a big one. You can fill that right up. Billy, I found something for you. Yeah. BP. Oh, yeah. Billy Petrick. Oh! <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> so what are you looking at, Billy? I'm looking at this chandelier. Oh, that's nice. Uh, is there any any backstory about where it came from, or? Well, I don't know. I haven't even asked the price. Well, I'm asking for the price. So. And what was that for? Is it for the bedroom you're doing up yeah, at the minute? Yeah, bedroom I'm doing up. Yeah. That one is gorgeous. Mm. Is that brass? Bronze, yeah. Bronze? Wow. But it's expensive. It does look expensive. Mm. Would it have had like um, yeah, glass. glass shades on it? Maybe they've got them somewhere. Yeah, this isn't nice. What is it? Oh, a leer. A leer. That's, that's, that's come from a church that has, yeah. or even a cathedral. That's quite Beautiful. grand for a church. For the chapel? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have it in my bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you could put your computer on it and edit it, couldn't you? Yeah, you could do actually, yeah. Put an iPad or something on there. That's, and that's lovely, that is. I wonder if Detective Petrick could do with a new hat. Well, it's a good fit too. Does it suit me? <laughs> Madam Mystery, I'm in the antique shop. Are you with us? No, she's not, she's not, she's busy. <laughs> Editing, probably. She never stops. Oh, it's a shame this one's closed. They've got some lovely old vintage stuff in here. Look, come and have a look. There's an old, a lovely oil lamp. I like the look of that one. Lots of um, just like vintage things. Okay. That, that's nice. It's a shame it's locked though, look, they've locked it. Not for sale today. Let's have a look in this one. She looks like quite a nice happy lady, doesn't she? She thinks she'd come and live in the chateau with us. It's actually, I think it's quite old. 18, 1802, Billy. 1802 that is, it's not quite old. It's in really good condition. Unless it's been retouched, I don't know, but she looks quite nice. Oh, don't fall over the antiques. <laughs> Do you reckon this alarm clock could wake you up in the morning, Michael? That's probably the only thing that could wake me up, that or, or a fresh coffee. So you pull this yeah. in, I'll take this direction. There we go. It's bronze, the bell, isn't oh, it? Well, what's it for? I don't know. Is it from a ship or is it from like a factory? I don't know. Uh, big piece of copper there, look. Yeah, that's nice that is. Um, I did look at it before. Oh! Hey, is it a door stopper? Oh, I wanted one of these. No marks. Oh, God, I'm covered in here. Do you know, I was thinking today to have one of these to shut my front door. Well, that's a really old vintage one, but does it work? Probably not. Ah, you've got to engage this. I wonder how much that is. Groom. Paris, look, that, it would have gone on a door. 
uh, and it's for, oh yeah, I, see, I like that. I love all that kind of old stuff, the vintage things. What else have they got? I've decided that we need this. This needs to be planted somewhere in the middle of the forest by itself uh, with the light on. You know, like the Lion Witch in the Wardrobe. That is absolutely stunning. I wonder if that would look nice outside the cottage. How much is it? 480. But then you've got that on the top, which is 220, 230. 700 euros for that. That would look lovely outside the cottage near the greenhouse. I think it's uh, a replica one. I'm not sure if it's old or not. I don't know, we'll have to think about that one. A lot of people in the comments keep saying I should get a spiral staircase for the cottage. And there's actually one just here. I think it's all there. I don't know if it's the right height, but to be honest, it looks quite, it's not the style that the cottage should be. Obviously in that kind of, in that style of building should be made of wood. That is something a little bit more Victorian. And I think it would probably take up as much space as the, as a wooden one, at least the wooden one, you have that area underneath it where you can put a chair or a table or some shelves, but, but that, I think that's too big, but it is lovely. I don't think it's original though. That, that's actually, it's just 3,000 euros for that staircase. So it's actually cheaper than an oak one, but I don't think it'll look right. But anyway, let's have a look, let's have a rummage. There's some bits over here. 38 euros. What's it made of? Uh, somebody's tried to patch it up, it's broken. It's nice, but it's not... I don't know where I would put it, to be honest. Is there anything interesting lurking up the back here? Let's have a look. Just a lot of old... Oh, oh, this is nice. Come and look at this. This is from a church or a chapel. You can see the lovely carvings. Look, at they've got all of it. I tell you what, I think this is the right shape for our chapel because it's got the curve, you see, and the panelling in our chapel is, you know, is in a bad state. I should show Billy that. That's actually really gorgeous. See, this is why you should rummage around these places because a lot of the stuff is not obvious. What on earth are these? There's boxes and boxes of these. Oh. Oh, they are really nice. I think they're oak. And oh, they are oak. Come with me. Billy. I found boxes and boxes of these. Are they nice, the core balls? They're like, I think they're oak. Yeah. Why are you after some? Oh, what, what would I do with them? Well, they maybe fit underneath your main beam or would there be not enough room for it? I wonder how much they are. After oh, lady. <laughs> Where on earth did you find those? I've oh, I found them. Before. I found them at the back. There's boxes of them at the back. They're all hiding. Right at the back. Where? Right at the back. Uh, near the. Um, there's some like panelling that looks like it's come out of a chapel. It's like, oh, up right. behind there somewhere. I bet there's stuff hiding here that people haven't seen for years. Yeah. They're up there. One, two, three, four, five boxes, yeah. Five boxes. Well, plus this, so there's six, but. Six. I don't know if they're all the same, or what they are, but. Get them out and have a look. Yeah, yeah. I'll move that one. They might not be to sell, I'll ask oh, them, right. because that side is his yeah. workshop. Just one in there. They're oh, that's the it, that'd be the. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His brother and sister, yeah. there you go. Yeah. They are quite pretty, aren't they? Yeah, I don't know where. Does so it say on them? Reef Corbel, quantity 2p. They the same colour. They look it. Take, yeah, these are the ones that I like to look at. Yeah, them ones. We'll take right. them ones, yeah. Those, right. Yep. Find home for them. Right, so we're going to buy the wooden corbels. So I think they'll look quite nice in the cottage somewhere. 
There's a pair of them. And also we got the two oil lamps as well. So, uh, is there, an, are we going to another antique shop as well? That'll do for today. I might have just a quick, a quick fly through next door and see what's okay. in there. But yeah, I'll pay for these first and then go next door. Thanks. See you later. Thank okay. you very much. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. <clears throat> so we put these in here. Got me, I've got me corbel, my lamp. Uh, I'll keep that in the front because it's fragile. It's glass. I love that. First thing I walked in, it's a, a chap, chappy cast iron cooking pot. Oh, pardon. It's a, a nice size for cooking, like just a, deal, a dinner for two. So I might take that. Another thing I'm actually looking for is a, a kitchen table because the one that I've got at the minute is my mum's and I'm just borrowing it, but she actually wants it back eventually. So I'm actually looking for a, I mean, that's about the same size of the table that I've got at the minute. It's got lovely legs, but I think it's a desk. Problem is it could be too low. Let me try it with a chair. That's about the height of a normal chair. Problem is if it's a desk, you won't be able to get your legs under it. It is nice, actually. And it's got drawers. Is that big enough? It's not really wide, in as, as wide as I would want. I'll have a think about that one. That is quite nice though, that might make a nice kitchen table. Ooh, I'll tell you what I don't have in the kitchen, is one of these for juicing lemons. I'm gonna buy that. That's a nice, I think it's a nice vintage one. I don't know what the price is on this, but Chappie is a really famous French maker of cast iron. They make cast iron range cookers. Um, and I've actually saw one in the house of an antique dealer once, a beautiful old cast iron chappy range. And that will go in the oven. Although the only problem is it doesn't have a flat base. So it's no good for um, cooking on the hot plate, but it might be good for putting stuff that goes just directly in the oven. I like that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy that. You're never that far from Her Majesty the Queen. There she is. That's the Silver Jubilee. So that was 1952 to 1977. 1977, that was a while ago. Oh, sorry, let me wrong. That's where I just got it from. Ah! <laughs> I thought there was, there's probably one over yeah. the other side. Do you want more than one? Or? No, just one. Just and, oh, there's, oh, there's one here as oh, well. Oh, yeah, there we are. I knew I'd seen another Which one. Which is nicer. Oh, they're both about the same, to be honest, aren't they? Yeah. It looks like you'll get more in it, that one, yeah. <laughs> You're in. I bet there's no difference whatsoever. No, probably not. <laughs> I'll take that and I'll take that. What's the price? There's no price on that. Uh, do that, that for 10. What, for the two? Yeah. All oh, right. <laughs> All right, lovely. All right, thank you very much. That's right. That's I should right. go home and try that out. <laughs> thank you. See you later. Okay, so we're back at the cottage now. Um, I've just finished editing this video and the last piece of footage that I filmed, there was a problem with the microphone. TT, be quiet. She keeps snorting. Um, I'll show you the footage, but the sound doesn't, there's no sound, it didn't work. Um, but the actual, the, the, the chain that Billy, that Billy had a look at in the shop that he got for 20 euros, um, it said in the shop that it was gold plated. Um, Billy, um, he, he got his gold testing kit out. I'll show you that now. Um, and we discovered that it, it is actually 18 karat gold and it weighs nine grams. Um, and um, because I, I loved it so much, at the end, when Billy tested it, he gave it to me as a gift. So here, here it is, I've got, uh, <laughs> I went out to buy some oil lamps and ended up with an 18 karat gold chain. And uh, that's the thing with those shops there, it's all just house clearance stuff. Um, so they don't actually really look at anything. They just chuck it all in the cabinets and, um, and it could be valuable, it could be not, and they just take a chance. Um, so yeah, I got a little gold chain for 18 no for 20 euro 18 karat gold for 20 euros and also let me just get the oil lamp the oil lamp i filled it with oil uh and you can turn it up and down if you want it brighter uh and yeah 
I got actually, I actually got three of them. This one also works. This one needs a little bit of tinkering to get it work, but they're all really cheap. So I've got these lovely little ones. I mean, this one has got its original glass shade that goes on the top. This one hasn't, but it still worked like a candle. I got the lovely brass box, which is really pretty. I don't know what I'm going to put in it, but I just love, I love uh, hexagons. Like it just reminds me of honeycomb, which is uh, one of nature's strongest structures, naturally. Um, uh, also, I've got this lovely little vintage lemon juicer. And what else did I get today? Cast iron. Uh, cooking pot. I don't know what you'd call that in America. We would call that in France a marmite or in England you would call it a casserole. It's got the name on the bottom. Uh, so that's absolutely lovely. Um, and yeah, is this... I had a problem yesterday with my camera it keeps resetting itself to mirror setting. Are we still in mirror? No, we're not. We're back to normal now. So yesterday's video, it was all like Alice in Wonderland through the looking glass. Everything was mirrored or flopped they call it in the uh, filmmaking um but yeah so i think that was an absolutely fantastic day's filming and i found a use for the oak corbels um obviously the sound from that footage is is not working but i can show you a few images of that now upstairs where we put the two posts to support the roof a-frame the two corbels look really nice on the inside of each post um so that's where they're going to go um so i think for an afternoon hunting for antiques. We didn't do too badly. We found gold and we got some lovely bits of the cottage. So I just wanna say thanks for watching today's video. And tomorrow we're gonna to be going and visiting our chateau neighbors. About four miles away there is a beautiful chateau. I showed it to you earlier in this video. Tomorrow you're gonna to get a tour. So thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.